What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and the quest system. So in today's episode, we will make sure to link an objective with something in the open world that we can complete. For example, if we have to eliminate 5 enemies, we will make sure to be able to select that 5 enemies in our level that we want to go ahead and eliminate. The same with opening a chest, if we need to open a chest, we will go ahead and select that chest that we have to open. So we will have 2 types of missions right now we'll have elimination and opening chest okay so it's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started all right so what i'm going to do is go into our quest system folder over here and what we're going to do is open our s quest um here okay so here you can see we have different things and we have the name secondary completed objectives and so on and we also have our own structure which is the s quest objective we'll basically have all this all right so what we are going to do is actually in the s quest objective so each objective will have this thing we are going to be creating a new variable only here and for now let's call this the uh, elimination actors that we have to eliminate so uh, actors to eliminate so each um obje objective will have it this okay in this case we're going to change this to be on an actor type for now so we are not to reference and this will be an array because it will be a list of actors um with that said let's also add a uh, variable here and this will be the chest to open and in here we're gonna go and also have an actor but in this case it's gonna be single Okay, so it's gonna be only one chest that we have to open. Now, the thing is that we are gonna be making sure that this will only really, of course, be activated if there's something in the list on actors to eliminate, or there's something assigned to chest to open. So if you don't want to eliminate anyone uh, in the mission, uh, you will only use filling the field that you need, which for example, will be chest to open, okay? So with that said, this is how we're doing this. We can now go and select our guy in the scene and how we'll go basically you go and select your guy uh, your quest giver okay and the level go down into the quest section and you can see all the um, type of missions that it has so then you will go and say look for example this one is capture all enemies right you will open each objective and then uh, on here you will fill in all the things that you need right right now it uh, they haven't been updated for some reason so let me open the blueprint there we go you can see that we can go into our uh, quests you can see our quests you can see our objectives and all that stuff you can see here the name or the aim and also it is if it is uh completed as we said so as you can see the actors to eliminate and just to open hasn't been uh assigned right now uh, so we will need to go ahead and update this so what we can do is just go and uh, as you can see just compile the blueprint okay <laughs> actually i didn't know what's happening why it doesn't update but basically it's hard to compile okay okay so now we can go back here and basically we won't need to do this in the blueprint itself okay this is because um we will not be able to reference anything from the level but so that's why we have to do it from a character in the level so in here you will go into the uh into the specific quest which will be this one which is to capture all enemies open the objective open the index and now we have the uh, aim which will be to uh, eliminate uh five enemies in this part of the open world term, right uh, it will not be completed for example a uh, chest to open we will not feel that because we this mission is not for that specific point and then you will go and say actors to eliminate or well, then you will start to add one uh, let's say let's do two okay and then on here i'm gonna go and place two ais in the scene so i'm gonna go into ai and bp ai just drop it in the scene and then another one over here and then basically i will go into my quest giver and just filling both of this just selected uh, with this uh pick point here like this and like this and now we need to eliminate those enemies of course right now we don't have the logic but let's go ahead and struct, uh, start to structure that logic that we will need okay so let's go into our bpc quest which is the quest uh blueprint component that is attached to the player so we know uh, which current objective we are doing and so on and what we are going to do is right click and create a new custom event and this will be 
basically um, eliminate the enemy okay so in here what we want to do is get our active quest okay right click split it so we have all the information get the uh, objectives okay and what we're going to do is make a for each loop so we go through all the objectives okay on here what we're going to do is drag this and break it and now we have all the information in this case let's get the length of the array of actors to limit now let's make sure that it is bigger than zero if it is it means that well we uh, are supposed to you know get rid of an enemy because if not this mission is not for that okay so in here what we would do is basically go and um get uh eliminate an actor over there okay so we can do this here say remove the item and then you will say hey we need to remove uh, sorry we remove index because of that way we can just specify one and in this case we can just go ahead and eliminate the index zero it doesn't really matter uh, which specific uh, enemy in the scene we eliminate it's just gonna eliminate an enemy okay uh, actually what we can do instead uh, that i would prefer is to receive as an input uh we're gonna do that the element an enemy eliminated i think that will be you know make more sense so let's go go to actor select that over there in this case it will be remove item so now we can passing that specific enemy that has been eliminated and just in case well we'll have more control later on in the future you know we want to start to eliminate specific enemies and that will, this will allow us to do so. so now that will be removed from there so as you can see that will basically start to work it will start to get rid of all the enemies over there and then what we're going to do is if basically this is less than zero um well after we remove so we remove the last enemy uh, let's make sure that uh, i'm gonna check if this is equal to zero if so that meant that that was the last enemy okay um so here so in that case okay in that case so now we have to update this uh objective so let's get it and say um will be in here variable set by, uh, by ref variable let's plug it on true right click split it so we have the information in this case all of this will stay the same except complete it, it will be true and then um and there we go so let's make sure that we won't continue if, if it's not completed so it will be if it's not boolean okay so completed is not true in this case um okay so now we set true this we can just leave it like this doesn't matter and it's empty okay back great um so now that should go ahead and work and update so now the only thing that we need to do is go into our specific enemy in this case is this ai and um, we are going to go into where the enemy goes ahead and dies so we'll be in this and then damage you can see here it dies and does all this uh, well in this case we're gonna go ahead and quickly use cast to the third person character and this is a quick cast so it will not do any damage uh, get player and character and let's say get bpc bpc underscore quest there you go bpc quest and then uh say and call the eliminate enemy eliminate <laughs> okay that didn't even spell it correctly eliminate there we go um enemy and then here it will be self it'll be this specific actor over there so we'll be removing that great so that should in theory work so what we're going to do is go in here and make a a print every time it goes through here so in this case um when i remove an actor let's go ahead and print here and the the current length okay of how many we have now and here let's say uh completed or whatever and now when I press play so you can see I go here let's uh, select this specific quest okay and now we need to kill him um, 
and let's equip a weapon. Okay, and then I'm gonna kill him. Seeing that, yes, he has health to zero or something. Um, you can see there, eliminate five enemies. So we go, one dead, and it should be that one. Now one dead. You can see now it printed two, um, but it did not print, um, you know, completed. Let's also make that we can update the UI of uh, completed. So let's go into this HUD. Let's uh, open this up. And what I'm going to do is go to the graph and basically I'm going to right click, create custom event and say uh, complete objective over here. There we go. Okay, so in this case, what we are going to be doing is uh, go and basically get a specific objective over here. So let's go and go into this objective widget here. Okay, and let's go into the graph and just go ahead and add a new variable. In this case, this will be the objective itself. And it will contain the S underscore objective structure, you know what I mean? Um, which should be over here. Uh, what's, what's, what's that? Should be S quest objective. Okay, there you go. S quest objective. I don't know why it took so long to appear. Okay, so here it is. And what to do is when we add it, we're gonna be adding it. <laughs> so let's get the um, uh, this one which is saved into here. Uh, set objective, and it will happen in both of these cases. There we go. And then in here, we're gonna basically get this one and pass it over there, like I saw. So and then on here, what we are going to be doing is basically going through all the tiles of this. So let's make it for each loop. Let's go through all the tiles. So get uh, children, get children index, children count, uh, get all children, let's pass the array here. And they're gonna be making sure that this objective is the same or not, okay? Um, so in this case, uh, let's get the objective. Um, well, we should be cast to the um, to that widget. That would be underscore quest objective. Okay, and like I saw, so we get the info. Now let's get that objective and make sure it is the same one that we are going to be passing as an input. It's going to be the other objective that we're going to be completing. Okay, uh, let's make this also as quest objective. And then let's make sure that this, delete this, is equal. Sorry be equal mm -mm. same it should be uh oh sorry we need to break this and then say the the name or the aim it is equal sorry equal uh, equal exactly the string to this one that will come in break so we'll do the comparison with the name and if it's equal okay what we're doing here is get this one and then do the thing of the checkbox. So in this case, it will be uh, checked. So we'll get this and then complete checkbox checked. Um, so that should work. So we'll need to go here and call this when it's completed. So right after here, press widget and say, uh, sorry, complete objective. And then we'll pass that specific objective that I want to complete, which in this case will be uh, this one. And with that said, that should now update. Um, so if I press play, I can go through all this, select the quest, 
get this over here Boop this you can see eliminate five enemies that is unchecked okay so now i can go ahead and kill this guy same come on please here we go and then this guy and i should uh in theory update um okay so i didn't update because the length is right now of two okay so let's get this two over here mm, okay so in the next episode, we'll be com uh, continuing with this. Um, I have to cut this because it's getting a bit long and there's a bit of a complex structure that we're doing here. Um, but in the next episode, we'll go ahead and fix this issue that we're having. Okay, finalize it. It will be ticked as an objective. We'll also do uh, do it for a test and we'll, good, uh, we'll be good to go. So if you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it for the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, join my Discord server, uh, Patreon, and YouTube members will have the profiles. Uh, and then, God said, bye bye. <laughs>